Charizard here, and welcome back to some more Clash Royale. So today I'm gonna be showing another gameplay in uh in the replay uh in box thing in the game. The, um, some guy asked me if I could do a live battle, and I may not be able to do it because while I'm, I actually tested it out. I was recording while playing a game, but it seems like the game lags, and once it starts lagging, it causes my game to like crash because like for some reason the wi this Wi-Fi thing in the middle pops up, so it's kind of messing up the recording and my signal down here because I'm in the basement. I did it, I tried to do it upstairs too, but it didn't work. So basically, I got another gameplay here, and this one is actually a good one, because it was a close game. Basically, what happens in the end is it was it's, it was actually in overtime, and there was one second left, and I won at that last second. And not only did that, I'm a level 4, and this guy's a level 6. So this guy is 2 levels higher than me, but I still beat him. So make sure you guys watch closely this game. If you do enjoy this gameplay, make sure you hit that like button, as always, and subscribe. We are nearly at 600, which, you know, three more subscribers, but, yeah, let's get this game started. So, basically, we start this game, at, you know, we have the same elixir, we always start with it, and I say good luck to him. For some reason, the game's lagging a bit right now, when I'm playing, and when I'm recording this, so I don't know what's wrong with it. So, my elixir bar is full, he spawns in that bomb tower. I didn't expect for him to uh, spawn in a mini pe P.E.K.K.A. I think the reason why he lost this fight, because towards the end where it was double elixir in overtime, his cards, his cards, his cards are basically four elixir or higher. So basically, because he like, if you look him at him at the top, he, he has a Valkyrie skeleton army, which is four elixir, and he has the nuke. Which is like six elixir, a giant that's five, the prince is five, and the bomb tower is five. And his Minapeka is a four elixir. So basically, that takes a lot of elixir. And I have less cards. I have cards that take less elixirs, but they do last longer and they take uh, they do more damage. Now he takes out one of my towers here. I realized that, but I wasn't panicking because I was I knew he was gonna take it out. But at the same time, I was planning a strategy because. Basically, he made a wrong mistake right there, I believe, because since he took out my right tower, basically it evens us out, but I'm loading more elixir in more than him, especially because his uh, load from four cards to higher, so basically I'm able to spawn in more than what he's able to spawn in, because he has to wait until he reaches four or higher for any of his cards to spawn, which is why his deck isn't that good, even though he's a higher level than me. So there you go. We even ourselves out. I have, you know, I'm, I have more elixir than him, and I say, well played at that moment. So it's one to zero, oh, and there's one minute left in the game, in three seconds. So I spawn in a giant, but he decides to spawn in a prince, I believe, to the right. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's he spawns in to the right with a skeleton army, cause he probably knew that I was gonna spawn in a skeleton army right in his sprint. Because he knew I was going to take it out. Because I did it twice to him, I believe, in this game. I, I, I'm i not sure. But he, he probably knew I was going to do that. But he doesn't know that I actually was going to spawn in another giant. And not only that, this musketeer takes out this tower here. Right at the last second when the musketeer dies. And I spawn in a skeleton army by the giant. And I thought I made a mistake because I forgot that they can't hit the air, uh, the air dragon, the baby dragon. But my, my, what do you call it? My minions distract that baby dragon. At the same time, the prince was hitting my tower. So I was like, it's over for me. I'm going to lose. But it turns out I didn't. Because after breaking after that tower on the left, it was actually overtime. So I, was, I forgot about that. And since it was overtime, I actually thought I was gonna lose because he took he took I took more damage than him. I said I took three times, but I don't know. So it's overtime, and we have 50 seconds in the game. I I thought he was gonna spawn in like a prince or something in the bag, but he decides to make the mistake to spawn in a Pekka, even though it takes less elixir. But basically, he's taking more defensive, and that bomb tower can't take down my minion, so it evens ourselves out. I decide not to. I I decide to spawn in minions there, even though I didn't have to, cause it would have taken out that baby dragon anyways. But it was like I made the mistake. He spawns in a giant, and I spawned in the, the giant at the same time on the other side. So it was like, oops. I thought I was about to spam the skeleton army right where the giant is, and I just realized 
as soon as I was about to spawn it in, it already died, so, yeah, and there's 10 seconds in the game left, and I thought I wasn't gonna make it, I thought it was gonna be a draw, but we took it out in time, at the last second, we took it out, so, I was like, that was, that was I thought, I, I was like, hype for it, I was like, no, come on, we gotta destroy it in time, and then we did, and what's, with one second left in the game, so I was like, no way. So basically, guys, that's all I got. If you did enjoy this video, as always, like I said, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Wait, wait, wait! Don't forget to subscribe. I can't